Sagittarius, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading for you. Um, no particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your ninth house, this could be for you. Um, Thank you once again for all the uh, continued support. The easiest way is via the like, share, subscribe, comments. It does wonders for the growth. Um, thank you to all the Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, the extended, the buy me coffees, the donations. Keeps me doing this, so thank you very much indeed. Uh, description box is all the information you need, and cross watches you're more than welcome. Okay, Sag, what's going on with you guys? Okay, I've got you two in my head. Still haven't found what I'm looking for. And that's okay. That's okay. Let's do two more. The Five of Wands. That's interesting because uh, just on Scorpio's reading, and there's Five of Wands was in the uh, same position. But I kind of feel like this is. Okay, this is interesting. The more you raise your vibration, which is kind of like you, stood in the middle, you're stood. So I'm just kind of seeing that as an increasing vibration. Um, which kind of comes from self-love as well. When you truly learn to love yourself, your taste in people are going to change. There's going to be a vi vibrational discrepancy with the people around you. So let's see, something we're aware of. Something we're not aware of. Oh, that's a perfect card to come after that. Recent past. Advice. Potential outcome. Okay, interesting. The Four of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, Chariot, Ace of Swords, Page of Cups, Page of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Three of Cups, the Wheel, and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, there's going to be some sort of change in your financial circumstances. The Wheel, Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, and I'm almost hearing like an affirmation of money comes to me from expected and unexpected sources. Tell yourself that every day because it kind of feels like that's something that's going to come in. So there could be a payout for whatever reason. Who knows? Uh, um, don't just think lottery, otherwise you're just narrowing the um, um, the ability of the universe to bring you something abundant. But there's going to be a change in your financial situation. Okay, we have the Five of Wands. What we're aware of is the Hanged Man. This is a card of self-sacrifice. You know, who truly, when you self-sacrifice, comes to your aid when you need it? And I almost feel like you're seeing this now. There's been a change, the five of wands. There's been a change. The fives are all about change. You're raising your vibrations. You're tasting people are changing. Things are just looking very, very different. What we're not aware of is death. This is a complete transformation. Death and rebirth. Hangman, card number 12. Death, card number 13. This is an end to people pleasing. This is the end to self-sacrifice. This is the end to putting yourself last. In the recent past, we have the fool. I almost feel like there's been a journey here where it could have been something catastrophic, like almost falling off a cliff, but you survived. You're still here. Um, and now we're slowing life down. Slowing life down to smell the roses. There is still things going off in your head, though, with the Five of Wands. Um, because it's part of your advice. Your advice is the Nine of Swords. Now, this is kind of, as soon as I saw the Nine of Swords, I saw like um, a template. Um, it was something I saw, phew, read in a book possibly years ago, but it's um, come back into my head now. Um, and it's like, um, there was a big circle and it was in your control. And then the outside of the circle, out of your control. So in your control, your words, your actions, your responses, your self-talk, your awareness, um, anything that you consume, and that can be 
food, drink, TV, um, media, anything that you can consume, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, you have control over that. And it's kind of reminding me of something I did the other week. Um, I hit a point of a couple of days of just feeling down and energetically meh. Uh, and it was when I started watching something on Amazon, I think. Um, it was a season, a series I watched years ago and absolutely loved it. It was uh, The Following. It was about a cult. And I watched it again the other week and for the next few days after that, the energy was just draining for me. So I couldn't couldn't continue watching it. I just stopped watching it. Um, and it's amazing how my body just reacts different now. And that's kind of how I'm seeing that. It's what we consume. It doesn't have to be TV. It could be books, media, like I say. Uh, anything, anything that's lowering your vibration. Out of your control, around the circle, we have the future, the past. We have uh, other people's behaviours, other people's opinions, other people's feelings, other people's opinions of you. Um, the result of things, we we have no control over. We only have control over what the list I said before. And when you do that, you step into the Queen of Cups power. Don't get caught up in genders. The Queen of Cups is just somebody who's emotionally calm, compassionate, um, has self-love, has love for others, but not to the point of self-sacrifice. She's a queen at the end of the day. So there's definitely a need to take a pause on some things here. Uh, for some of you as well, there's a need to pause, especially if you're a Sag rising. And the only reason why I say that is because um, we are coming up to the um, um, the lunar eclipse on in two days' time on the eighth, and it would be in your sixth house, which is health. So if you are, you know, burning the candle at both ends, taking on too many responsibilities, do expect your health to suffer. If you're not careful, if you're not taking time out to actually rest and do something for you, nature, garden, getting outside, um, making sure that you're uh, taking time out. It doesn't just necessarily have to be for Sagittarius risings, I just know in, in particular this moon is going to be pushing that towards you. But in general, do make sure you're taking time out to uh, um, allow the, uh, the your body to rest. Okay. Interesting. Right, I just want to see where that self-love is. Yeah, it's when you continue raising your vibrations. Um, so we've got the Ace of Cups is with the um, Emperor and the Seven of uh, Wands. Um, part of the awakening process is you will find forces trying to bring you down. The unawakened don't like it. Uh, and I don't mean that in any dis disrespect, but people that... Um, um, are just, you know, bogged down into the everyday 3D material world, do not appreciate um, the, I want to say the, not necessarily the attitude, they're just, there's going to be such a discrepancy that there will be difficult things to talk about, or there won't be anything to talk about, and then I almost feel like people try and then bring you down a little bit, or trying to drag you down to their level, just be aware of that. Um, So it's time. I almost feel like it's because um, I'm, I'm hearing now what Morpheus says. Um, uh, there's going to come a time when you realise that there's um, there's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path, and that could be something that's coming up for you here. But 
there's definitely a need to take a time out and rest with a hangman and the four of swords not to be uh, on the go all the time because you know it will suffer for some of you it's going to be your feet pisces rules the feet so do be careful okay right look after yourselves uh, in your extended we'll look at the um, past present future of this positives coming in negatives to watch out for as well as your uh, next steps if you can join me, fantastic. If not, to look after yourselves. We have Pisces, we have Scorpio, we have Gemini Aquarius, we have Sun in Gemini, Saturn in Leo. Uh, it's Libra energy, I've forgotten what it is. Venus in Virgo, Cancer. Mercury in Virgo. Mars in Cancer, Sagittarius. Sun in Scorpio, Sun in Capricorn. So we've got swords, wands, cups, pentacles. Everyone's here. Those are your standouts. Look after yourselves. See you soon. Bye.